Hello everyone. Uh, now in one of our video we have seen the voice call flow and it was a basic voice call flow when uh, two mobile subscribers are under the same MSC. Now in this video we are going to discuss the same thing but with the signaling uh, concept. Because whenever the call is initiated from one uh, mobile station uh, to the uh, subscriber who is located in the same mobile station or to the different mobile station, what are the different signals that are exchanged between the air interface or between from one network element to the other network element, what are the signals associated and how the flow happens and finally how the call gets connected because of this signaling uh, flow that we are going to discuss in this video in detail. So hope you will enjoy this uh, video because this will be uh, uh, means this is a much uh, interesting video as we will be discussing on the signaling uh, information related to the voice call flow. Now as we see uh, the different devices are connected with the help of signaling because the signaling is mainly responsible for connecting the devices. Now let's understand what is signaling. Signaling is a function which conveys the information about the specific action with respect to voltage variation, with time, the electromagnetic waves which carries the information from one point to another point with interaction between the network elements. Now in SS7 there are reserve or the dedicated channels which are allocated to when a certain action is performed by the user. Now signaling system number 7 which is mainly referred to as SS7 is a set of telephony signaling protocols developed in 1975 which is used to set up a tear and tear down telephone calls in most part of the worldwide public switch telephone network which is PSTN. The protocol also performs number translation, local number portability, prepared billing, short messaging services which is referred as SMS and other services. In North America, SS7 is often referred to as common channel signaling system CSS7. In UK, it is called C7 and a common channel interoffice signaling 7 CCIS7. In Germany, it is often called Zentral Zeichen Backchannel number. This is reference from the Wikipedia. Now let us see the terms associated with the signaling because whenever the signaling is happening there are some standard terminologies which are used for uh, identifying the signaling information. Those are BCCH, FACCH, SDCCH, RACH, AZCH and SCH, the full forms are already mentioned, the TCH channel, FCCH channel, okay, and the PCH uh, channel. Now, refer, we will go in detail with respect to each of these abbreviations what we have seen. Because each and every uh, signal, with, whenever the call is originated, has a specific functioning to carry the messages from one network element to the other network element. Now, if we refer BCH, BCCH, the abbreviation stands for broadcast control channel. In GSM, we normally see two different type of channels, which are mainly for handling or carrying the frequencies, BCCH and TCH. BCCH is a broadcast channel, which is used by base station to send the information about the identity of the respective networks. MS uses this information to get access to the respective network. TCH is mainly responsible for handling the traffic channel. If we refer BCCH in LTE network, it provides the system information to all the connected E nodes. Now the next is FCCH, which is a frequency correction channel. This controls the channel in air interface and is only for downlink. It is mainly provides the synchronization between the BTS and the mobile. As it is only for the downlink, it provides continuous wave signal to find the frequency offset. Now SCCH, synchronization channel. 
in FCCH, the mobile is synchronized with BTS with the required frequency offset. Once the activity is completed, the time synchronization is done. RSCH is the random access channel which is mainly responsible for controlling the time slots. Now, when we say the random access, so based on the frequency that is getting uh, allocated in the network, RSCH takes the control and it defines what the particular time slot that needs to be allocated to the respective channels for handling the calls whenever the calls are initiated now we will further look into the other uh, signaling information which are mainly used or which are mainly uh, performing the different set of action apart from what we have discussed so those are if we really see sdcch channel which is a standalone dedicated control channel this channel is established when the call setup process is initiated and gets released once the other mobile is alerted now agch access grant channel this is a downlink channel from the network to ms it carries the information by which the mobile will determine whether to access the network to be allowed or not now sseh slow associated control channel as the abbreviation says is that it is associated channel and is mainly associated with tch and sdch it maps the slots on the physical channel where t0 and f0 are now in continuation to what we have discussed with respect to the abbreviations now let us see uh, in the diagrammatical representation of uh, call flow now these are the different network elements that are involved in the call flow that are your mobile subscriber which is nothing but your mobile uh, handset bts bsc msc hlr vlr eir authentication unit and finally again the end subscriber where the call has to be connected now if you see a series of messages that flow between one network element to other network element there is a significant association because there is a request and the answer is or the acknowledgement is given back now whenever the call is initiated the mobile subscriber requests for bcch information to the bts and bts in turn it re uh, refers to fcch and again to sch now uh, what will happen whenever there is a request that is received by the ms for the sch it will in turn it will give rsch information and that rsch further is requested to bsc by bts now what will happen uh, bsc whenever it receives the rsch information it gives the information back to ms with agch request that is nothing but request for imc now we all know that what is the significance of imc because imc is the international mobile subscriber identity which is unique per user okay and if we really see the first five or six characters or the uh, of mc it uh, specifically denotes the uh, means uh, mcc and mnc which are nothing but your mobile country code and the mobile network code based on which the network will identify that to which network operator uh, the subscriber belongs so whenever there is a request for mz in the form of agch from bsc to the mobile subscriber or to the ms then ms returns back with mc now once msc receives the mz information it will the means do the authentication for the location update because location update is important whenever the location update request is received or whenever the location update is done all the required parameters of the mobile subscriber will be identified whether uh, like uh, what are the type of services you are allowed to use whether you have call barring or whether you have value added services activated on your uh, handset and uh, the different uh, functionalities okay now what will happen once the location update uh, is done then it will acknowledge okay i have done the location update now you can proceed further then msc will further communicate with vlr for the location update now vlr will do the location update because whenever uh, uh, we have to connect a call if they are in a different msc or within the same msc then this is a very uh, uh, important step to make sure that the location update is happening and the required parameters are downloaded in the respective vlr network so what uh, the msc now will further uh, request for the checklist okay in the checklist what they will uh, uh, see the same thing that what are the different uh, services that are allowed and uh, uh, the related information so msc will request for the checklist to the er equipment identity registry 
now eir will uh, in uh, turn it will return back with the checklist information and msc will request for ki okay ki is for individual uh, subscriber identification now uh, the msc will acknowledge the ki information and it will provide the ki information to msc now ms will receive uh, once the ms provides the ki information to msc MSC will further give that information to EIR to verify that whether this is a valid subscriber or not and the KI information will be verified. Once KI information is successfully verified, MSC will request for the MS. Now here uh, we are discussing one of the important uh, concept that is uh, the MSISDN uh, related information. Now, whenever there is a re request for uh, MSISDN, what will happen is the, MSI, uh, the MSISDN where the call has to be connected or from where the uh, or from which mobile number the call has been initiated that will be analyzed and at the same time where the call has to be connected that will be analyzed. So that is called as a digit analysis. Now in the digit analysis what will happen the MSC will be able to find out exactly where to route the call. Because if we uh, really see the MSISDN is associated to the MC, right? Now in the MC, what we will have, we will have MCC and MNC. Now in, with respect to MCC and MNC, we will be able to identify that to which network operator that particular uh, subscriber belongs and to which circle that particular operator belongs. And in the process, it will also be able to identify that where exactly the call has to be routed based on the digit analysis to that particular MSISDN. So as soon as the MSC identifies, okay, this is the particular destination of the uh, MSISDN where the call has to be connected, then what it will do, it will do a alert, means it will send a signaling message to alert that particular MSISDN. And as soon as the other MSISDN means where the call has to be connected, that is alerted, then SDCCH channel is released means the call gets connected and the channel is released so this is the main functionality of the uh, SDCCH uh, channel MSC will request for the MSISDN and MSISDN info of the subscriber from uh, mobile uh, subscriber MS1 if you see then that is received by MSC and MSC in turn will send a alert notification means it will uh, try to connect the call to the other uh, uh, handset or the mobile or the ms so once there is an alert that is been uh, given to the other end of the subscriber and once as soon as it connects then the sdcch channel gets released so here if you see from here to here uh, this all comes under SDCCH channel because it is reserved. So as soon as once that call is connected, then the channel SDCCH channel gets released. So this is how the uh, signaling information flows from one network element to other network element with respect to uh, each uh, uh, means functionality of the particular uh, network element. Because if you see authentication, you need authentication unit has a significant role, EIR has a significant role, VLR and MSC has the most important role in order to make sure that the subscriber data is loaded and the related services are allowed in the respective networks. So this is uh, about the voice <coughs> call flow with signaling information. Hope this is clear. Now, I hope that uh, the concept is clear with respect to the signaling call information that has been uh, discussed in this video. So what I request is uh, do not uh, jump into the in between the videos because whatever the flow or the link that is connected between uh, one network element to the other network element that will be missed and it will be difficult to understand. So listen to the video carefully. If you don't understand, listen once again and try to see that wherever the gap is. And if you want any clarity on uh, uh, any of those uh, topic related to what we discussed in this video, please post your comments in the video so that I will be able to uh, mention, pro provide the required information. So I hope that uh, you like this video and I request you to please share uh, to your friends, colleagues so that this information can be used for having some kind of uh, knowledge and uh, your uh, feedbacks are uh, valuable and please do like and uh, share and subscribe thank you very much for listening to the video